All right, you guys, Saturday debrief, here we come. If you are new to the channel, this is the YouTube channel of the Living Free in Tennessee podcast. If you want to check that out, it's over at livingfreeintennessee.com. And we've been starting this sort of end of day debrief. So what were your three things today? I had three things. Yeah. I didn't know that. What were your three things? I don't know. What'd you get done today? Well, I got the boys moved. The boys equals sheep. Okay. What else? The sheep and the dogs. Okay. Um, I got the finished the carb install on my Toyota and I actually got to start the engine, which was exciting. I've still got some stuff that I've got to, I kind of jerry rigged it. Was one of your three things to leave shit on the passenger seat of my car? Yes. He borrowed my car and he left shit in the passenger seat. It's not there now. He's unapologetic about this. I don't have a reason to be apologetic about it. <laughs> anyway, we also got the first bed for spring planted today. So peas went in, broccoli went in, radishes went in, and carrots. So that's all direct seed into the ground. I don't know how they'll do. I know the peas will do fine. I don't know how that other stuff will do. Because I wanted to get it in two weeks ago, and I just got it in now, and now your dog is moving things. So, it is, it's sort of a, at this time of year when I plant stuff like that direct sow, I'm like, whatever happens, happens. If a big freeze comes and knocks it out, it was, a well, in this case, free seeds, but, you know, a dollar or two in seeds, and I can reseed it. And we'll just see how it goes. That bed was put together in August, and we did the lasagna mulch style to get it ready for planting and the cool thing so this is a cool thing i discovered guys we did the lasagna mulching in august and the cardboard had not disintegrated all the way in all the places and that kind of depended on if it had paint on the cardboard like the walmart boxes that had the big blue paint swatches that did not disintegrate so i pulled it out because it was in my way but I did not need to garden fork or anything. I just, I took a rake and sort of roughed it up a little bit and I planted the seeds and it was really nice soil. And what we had done this summer was a layer <laughs> of rabbit poop, a layer of, what else? Wood chips. Oh, duck litter probably. It was duck litter. Duck litter and rabbit poop. And layer of cardboard, layer of wood chips. I did not have leaves at that time or other things to put in there. And the reason we put the cardboard on was to really seal all of the stuff under that. And then put another layer of wood chips on top of the cardboard so it would stay wet. And that did a fantastic job. This is an area that the soil was very compacted before we started. I had grown garlic in it last or a couple of years ago. But it was just compacted and yuck. So this time... It was very nice, and I'm hoping the other beds are, are that good when we when it comes time to plant them. They've just recently been prepared. So at this point, I'm spring is coming too fast. Is spring coming too fast for you? No. It's coming too fast for me. Spring will never come too we, fast. I'm so behind. So tomorrow, more seedlings. But I feel like today went pretty well. What were the, we had visitors. Yeah. Yeah. Ken, Ken and Carmel stopped by. That was fun. And... I got to show, oh, I forgot to breed the rabbit today. Oops. Oops. Okay, well, tomorrow we'll breed the rabbit. Um, yeah, so we had some visitors stop by. That was fun. Had a nice conversation, and we'll go on from there. So that's the debrief from today. Let us know if you want to hear about anything specific on future ones. Let me know what you think about Tasco leaving his stuff in the passenger seat of my car, too.